Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to this video. We are going to be talking about different kind of noises your car would make um, clicks and rapid clicks and cranks and slow cranks and and this is just to figure out why your car won't start. All right, so let's um, get to it. If you guys are ever in this situation, you guys are going to want to know these different sounds because it'll give you significant clues as to why your vehicle will not start. All right. So basically, there are obviously different kinds of sounds. Let's start with the clicks. All right. So, if you have a no-start situation where everything works in your vehicle, you get into your vehicle, you try to start it, and you hear a faint click. So, you try to crank it, but you hear a, f a faint click. All right? You put it, you, you, you turn it to the off position, and you do it again, and you hear a faint click. Sometimes it's so faint that you miss it if you guys don't uh don't don't pay attention to it all right what you guys want to do in this situation is you guys want to you guys essentially want to <coughs> you guys want to put your hood up all right your car hood you guys want to put up and if possible you want somebody to stay by where the fuse box is and the relay is um, and in most cars, it's going to be in the front of the, uh, engine under the hood in the relay box in the, in the relay slash fuses slash relay box. Okay. Now that click that you guys hear will be the relay clicking. All right. So electricity, when you turn the ignition to the, uh, to the, to the crank position, electricity gets sent to relay sometimes it gets sent to multiple relays and and it's the relay that clicks okay when electricity hits the relay the, the relay clicks it makes a connection that electricity gets traveled to the starter and that which starts your car your vehicle all right um in these situations where you just hear a click and there's no crank um there is a good possibility that the reason why uh, that's happening is because it's because your starter is um, not working uh, your starter is uh, immobilized your starter uh, has issues and your starter is not turning to crank all right in most cases uh, it's a star problem it's not a hundred percent the case there's a star problem you gotta diagnose it um, a little bit more <coughs> Excuse me, guys. So let's move on to other clicks that you might hear. All right. Now, if you get into your car and you try to start it and you get rapid, rapid firing clicks going off, like click, 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 click. It doesn't exactly sound like that. I'm making that sound with my, uh, with my mouth, and it's not, it's not really a good example of it. But you're gonna hear a rapid clicks going off um, if you get that situation um, a lot of times you guys want to check your battery to make sure whether your battery is good or not because when you hear those rapid clicks um, sometimes you get a really really slow crank sometimes you won't get a crank at all and then uh, the rapid clicks that you're hearing is going to be coming from uh, the uh, solenoid that's on the starter so <coughs> um, in that situation, your battery, for the most part, will be probably will be um, pretty good. Um, wait, wait. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, for the most part, no, no, no. For the most part, your battery uh, might be close to being dead. Is what I'm trying to say. Sorry about that. All right. For the most part, your battery will be close to being dead. It just doesn't have enough uh, juice to crank up the starter but it sent enough of a electro pulse to the solenoids for the solenoids to go off all right that's the that's the starter solenoid going off 
Now, it, this 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 rapid fire clicks is going to be a lot louder than the click that's coming from your uh, relay uh, with the first example. All right, it's going to be real loud. It's going to be real obvious. It's going to be firing fast clips, and uh, uh, it, and the more you actually try to start it, um, the less uh, it's going to be because your 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 the 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 battery on the electricity from your battery is, is is already low you're just training your battery doing that so for the most part if you hear rapid clicks if you hear loud rapid clicks going off there's a good chance that it's probably because your battery um is the the the, the uh if the electricity in your battery, the battery is just too low to actually crank up the starter. So it's just the, the solenoid that sits, for the most part, sits on top of your starter. It's just firing off. So, so those are the two clicks that, those are essentially the two kinds of clicks that you will be hearing with uh, either a starter issue, a no crank, no start, a starter issue, or a no crank, uh, uh, no start with a bad battery so basically if you're in this instance let's 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 talk about no clicks now right um if you turn your uh if you try to start your car and and you get nothing and no clicks whatsoever but but everything else still works it could be a whole lot of different things to be honest with you, if you don't get it, it could be your relay, your starter relay that's bad. It could be um, uh, your your brake switch uh, that's not initiating. It could be uh, uh, ECU fuse, a fuse that's blown. It could be a lot of those things. All right, so <clears throat> so if you guys are in that situation, um, you guys want to just try to analyze. Um, the clicks and, and the no clicks, um, those are pretty much the scenarios of, of that. So let's talk about cranks. All right, let's talk about cranks. If you guys get into a situation where you guys try to start it and you guys hear it cranking, if you guys hear it cranking and it's a pretty strong crank, chances are your starter is good. All right, the problem could be a whole host of various things. Um, your um, your fuel pump, your fuel pump relay, um, a fuel issue, uh, a dead key fob, crankshaft, camshaft sensors. It could be a whole host of things. But uh, if you get a, a strong crank, you know that the uh, the starter is good, and you guys don't have to um, don't have to try to figure out whether your starter is the problem or not. Now, if you guys get a slow crank, if you guys get a slow crank that doesn't start doesn't start your car, it doesn't run, but it's slow, it's like <laughs> All right. Uh, chances are it's either going to be your battery or bad ground, all right? Uh, if you guys get a slow crank, it pretty much means that your um your battery is pretty low it means that your starter is good it's just that <clears throat> it's just that the battery just doesn't have enough power to actually generate enough power to actually um operate the the starter at a certain uh speed or or torque to crank the engine over so that it runs all right so those are pretty much the noises the clicks and the cranks um, that you will probably uh, uh, be dealing with with a no start situation whether it's a no crank no start situation or a crank no start situation so hopefully um, you know this actually helps you determine uh, you know what the real issue is with your vehicle so that you can get it fixed and you can get it going um, hope this has helped you guys out if you guys have any comments definitely leave a comment in the comment section um please subscribe please give me a thumbs up um all that good stuff right guys take care